I do want to show you guys my postpartum, two months postpartum body. And hey guys, this is Jenny from Awake Mama, and today I bring you all about my two months. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying this. Two months postpartum recovery. So if you want to hear all about it, stay with me. I'm going to try to make this video very quick, or at least I'm going to try, okay? Keyword, try, because my baby is sleeping right now, so I am going to try to get it all in before she wakes up. Fingers crossed. Okay, so my two months postpartum recovery. I want to start by saying that right away after I gave birth, probably about a week right after I gave birth, I actually lost 20 pounds now i ended up gaining about 35 pounds which is pretty normal you know especially with my previous weight and height and all of that so i right away lost 20 pounds and i still ideally have about another 20 pounds to go which it's okay i know there's a, a lot of breast milk and so many things and extra fat that is making me weight more but i am perfectly happy and fine with it because my body this body birthed a beautiful healthy baby so i'm just you know i'm dealing with what i've got next thing is i want to talk about my breast milk now since the beginning pretty much since like day one or two like the day right after i gave birth my breast started producing lots of colostrum to the point where like i was in the hospital and the lactation consultant came by to like teach me how to breast milk um how to breastfeed and all that and she was like let me see you know maybe because you know the baby is kind of like she, she was kind of fussy so she was like let me see if she's just not getting enough colostrum or milk so she kind of like pressed on my nipple tmi like all my videos all pregnancy related videos she pressed on my nipples and like it did it's just like squirted it right out and she like she got full of it and she's like oh whatever you know you're good I'm, I'm used to this and I was perfectly fine so since the beginning I started producing a lot of colostrum even before I gave birth I kind of sometimes would have that colostrum like a few months before I gave birth right after I gave birth I had the colostrum and like within three or four days I had a lot of breast milk now it was to the point where like my breast got engorged and I had to massage my breast and I had to like pump it with my hands and like it was just so much breast milk my baby would be feeding and then she would like all of a sudden stop and I would just like be squirting out milk everywhere so it was definitely an interesting experience but they have finally regulated now at two months so it's awesome I'm not squirting breast milk all over my house anymore <laughs> sometimes I would sit on my couch and like see this white spot I'm like what is this oh breast milk I am officially on my period again at two months postpartum right like who is back on their period at two months postpartum coda quiet that's my dog anyways who is back on their period at two months postpartum like seriously i was expecting to like go maybe five months six months like most people i guess regular people do but no not me this one this mom right here is back on her period at two months postpartum and I am so happy because I no longer have pain down there. In the beginning, it was so painful because I was so many hours in labor. If you haven't seen my labor and delivery video vlog, I'm gonna leave it over here on the screen so you could just go ahead and watch it afterwards. But yeah, in the beginning, because my labor was so long, I had pain, like it was a weird type of pain down there. Like it wasn't pain, but it was painful you know and it felt like all of that was like open and coming down and it lasted for like easily like a month a month and a half so those six weeks postpartum recovery and like i really needed those six weeks just because it was like an aching type of pain and i tried wearing a faja like a girdle and it just it, it was too painful to even wear one so i did not and uh, i'm just thankful and happy that i have no pain anymore i went to my six weeks postpartum visit with the doctor not the midwife the doctor that actually did my delivery and at the hospital i went to see her and she gave me the green light after six weeks to actually do exercise to have sex <laughs> to do whatever i want at six weeks i was perfectly fine and healthy and ready to go I am finally ready to take out my baby out again more and more. I've been kind of anal, honestly, about like germs and like 
people touching her and taking her out and all of these things but I'm like now I'm like I am ready she's strong you know she's healthy she, I feel like now she's ready to like she's ready to be introduced to the outside world whereas before I was like oh my god I'm so scared to go to the market I'm so scared to do this oh my god oh my god oh my god and everyone's like this is your first baby right okay that's why by the second one you're gonna be like taking that baby everywhere and uh, probably because now I'm, I'm getting more used to it and I could understand where those moms come from I'm finally like I need to go out I am tired of being home most of the time even though like honestly these past two months have gone by and I, I don't even have time to think like it's been so busy and like finding the moments like now where she's sleeping and she sleeps really well at night like oh my god she's like the ideal baby at night but during the day she takes like one or two 30 minute naps and she loves to be on top of me so most of the time she's on me while she's sleeping so I really don't have a lot of free time which I love and I love having her and holding her and I love the fact that she loves being on top of me but sometimes like now I just want to do my own thing <laughs> but going back to I'm ready to you know introduce her to the world and for her to see the outside world so I've already started doing that and I've already started taking her grocery shopping with me and uh, so many things she's been going out since she was practically born but more like I was very careful where she went now I feel like she's more ready to be part of society so finally at two months we are starting to have a routine in place where i'm getting the hang of it and i uh, she's finally interacting and smiling with me and she's doing all these things so i already know she could take naps then play and play and play and entertain herself, then feed her and then she falls asleep. So in the beginning, it was kind of like she was either sleeping all the time or not sleeping at all or she just wants to be held. Now for like the past week or so, okay, it hasn't been like a long time. For the past week or so, I'm starting to get the hang of things. She's starting to be more entertained by like being in her crib and, and with her toys. So it's more like the, the Cribs musical and stuff, not really Toys Toys, she's too little still. But that is giving me more time, not time to myself, but more time that I don't, I don't, I don't have to be holding her. Therefore, I'm starting to get a routine in place during the day and then at night, she is such a good baby that I'm actually sleeping well. In the beginning, it was pretty tiring, probably the first two weeks, although people say that, oh my God, it's so hard, like the first, three months or the first two months it's so hard it was really never like that for us like my partner and I have really pretty much slept throughout the whole night obviously I'm the one who's waking up to breastfeed and all that but she's always been a really good baby since the beginning she's always been a sleeper probably the first week or so she was waking up like every two to three hours and then she started getting the hang of it and it was like every four hours and she's been giving us really good nights except when she goes through a growth spurt which i could tell because she gets fussy during the day which is not like her and then like she doesn't really sleep at night she, she sleeps like two to three hours at night but it only lasts for like two days and then she goes back to being normal and then like after those two days she's doing something new or she she's interacting more like the last one she had a growth spurt last week and now she smiles and she interacts and like you could tickle her and it's so cute oh my god it's so cute to like see the interactions and see her growing I'm so in love I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed guys like you have no I mean if you're a mom you have an idea so if you understand me give this video right now a thumbs up because if you're a mom you know <laughs> something else that I'm still doing I am still taking my prenatals now my doctor actually and the uh, my baby's pediatrician they both recommended for me to still take prenatals as long as I'm breastfeeding. I think this is pretty like standard and normal for any breastfeeding mom. So two months in, I'm still taking prenatals and I believe I'm gonna keep taking my prenatals till I'm done breastfeeding, which hopefully that's uh, probably, hopefully a year from now. I do wanna show you guys my postpartum, two months postpartum body and now I am honestly really happy with the results again I have to lose some weight but who cares because again I birthed a healthy amazing baby my body does miracles so here it is this is my two months postpartum body this is my belly oh, I am pretty happy with it again I still have to lose about 20 pounds but hey who who cares right this is it guys take a look uh-huh uh-huh <laughs> 
And uh, let me see, I think that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I said I was gonna make it quick because I really wanted to get all that information in for you guys before my baby wakes up. Again, she gives me maybe like 20, 30 minutes yesterday for the first time, she gave me an hour. But she already gave me 30 minutes earlier, which she was on top of me, so now I'm sure she's gonna give me another 30 minutes. So I gotta go before she's up. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being with me today. Stay tuned for more videos. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.